What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment and in this video we're going to jump right on into how to set up your three-point hitch or rear hitch controls in your John Deere 8R tractor. Now everything is going to be done over here on the right hand side using our command center monitor here and then also our control buttons over here on the right hand side. So we are going to have our command center monitor here or we can go in and if we want to adjust those settings we can click right into this one that says rear hitch and that's going to bring up those settings or we can go down here to our buttons click on the one that looks like the three-point arm push that that's also gonna bring up our settings. Now, the buttons that we're gonna be using for our three-point. For one, we're gonna have our raise and lower switch right here. Now, this is going to be a five position switch. So what I mean by that is you are going to be able to pull back on it to raise it up, push forward on it, to lower it down. You're also going to be able to pull back and click and that is going to raise it all the way back up into position. Or once you set a lower depth, which we'll do that real quick, we set a lower depth and we see that we moved our point right here. Now we're going to have that lower depth set. So if we click forward on this switch to where it clicks, it is going to go down to that point that we set, which we'll get into a little bit more here in a minute on how we did that. Or we can go forward and all the way down, and this is going to put our three point into float. So we can see it lowering here on the monitor, and that means it's going to be all the way on the ground, and it's going to be able to float and ride with the ground. So it's going to have give there in the cylinders to allow it to float across the ground whenever we're using one of those three point engaging attachments. Now, let's get into some of the other settings here that we have on our actual setup here. So what you're gonna have is your upper limit setup. So if you only want this to raise up so far, we can go into our upper limit and we can actually change this with this button here, or we can use the knob down here to the left and bottom of our screen. We can actually roll this down and wherever we leave this at is as high up as that is going to be able to go. So now once I pull back on my switch, and I raise up, it is only going to go up as high as my max setting, which I have there at 80%. Now, once I go ahead and change this back up, that's going to go ahead and raise back up because I have it clicked up into that top position. If we want to go in and we want to change the drop rate, we can do that. We can make it drop faster. We can make it raise faster or slower. We can also change that position setting that we were talking about. So if we are using a certain attachment that we only want that three point to go down so far and we want to make sure that we go down to that certain height every time, we can go in here and we can actually set the position setting on this and how we're going to do that is we're going to use this roller dial over here on the side and we are going to roll that down just like that while we're watching this move here on the screen and say we want that to always go to 50 percent so we only want it down half the way right there at 50 percent once we get there, then we're gonna hit our set button. And once we do that, we're gonna notice this little arrow right here that is now set in place. And that is going to stay there. So now we can go in and click our switch to go up. That is gonna raise that three point up into position. And then if I push it down forward, it's only gonna lower to that set position that I have to make sure that we are constantly going back to that set position to where we have that rear three point attachment on. We only want it going down so low. We have that set in our screen right here. And we can also change that whenever we want, however we want, we can raise that up and then hit our set button again and then see it change there on the screen. Or if we don't want one set at all, we can raise this all the way up hit our set and then that way whenever we push our three point button forward it's going to go all the way down or whenever we pull backwards it's going to come all the way up now we're also going to have our load depth sensitivity and our slip sensitivity settings these are going to be a little bit more of your in-depth settings so these are going to be more for your 
rolling terrain. If we are using some sort of three-point drawn attachment and we're going to be going over some rolling terrain that load depth setting there is what is going to allow that three-point to ride smoother in those sections to where maybe it's trying to go a little deeper it's going to sense that raise it up have it ride through a little smoother if it needs to go a little deeper that low depth sense is going to sense it and allow it to go a little deeper to make sure and stay consistent when we're on that little bit bumpy terrain there but overall guys this is a very very simple system it seems like a lot you have a lot of things that you can go in here and customize but as long as you remember how to get to those two places so right here we can always hit our rear hitch or we can go down here on the screen, hit that button to get into our settings and know that where we use our three point adjustments are going to be with this roller dial here. We have our set. We also have lock, which is going to just completely lock this out to where we cannot use the switch and we cannot use the roller dial. We can completely lock that out if we don't want this feature being used. You're also going to have a return to drop position here. Now, this button is not always going to work. This is going to be set up different depending on what tractor you're in. If you are set up to where you're using this switch as your return to down position, then this button over here is not going to work. So just keep that in mind that you may have to adjust that if that's something that you want to use. So using this switch here, these buttons and roller dial here along with these settings are going to have you set up to run your three-point hitch for whatever you're doing on your operation so guys i hope this video helped you out i hope that you liked this video if you did we just asked you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also guys if you want to see more videos like this i highly suggest you go check out the rest of the channel and as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time hey guys make sure to check out this cool video and this one buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.